<laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm doing just a chatty get ready with me before i go about my day and if you'd like to see how i got this look just keep watching hopefully today goes a lot smoother than last week's filming <laughs> i to be honest i had just rolled out of bed and i was still waking up so i've been up for a little while so hopefully today goes better we have things that we are going to do today, looking at two cars. Hopefully we can make a decision as to which one we want. Probably not going to buy one. But if we do, I may have something new to talk about next week. Hey! <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to get started. I'm not really playing with anything new today. So... I'm thinking a purpley look today. And I'm actually going to do my eyes first, obviously, which is a miracle in and of itself because generally I just jump right into my face because that's what I like to do. But I'm going to use my Denona palette, the Sunrise palette again. And we're going to go into the purpley colors. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, I'm going to prime my eyes with some concealer. And this concealer is thick, so a little, a little goes a long way. Like I over concealed last time, one of these last times that I've used it, and I was like, oh my goodness. So how's everybody doing? How's your week going? I'm going to use. Morgan as my transition shade. It's a coral shade. I'm going to somehow tie it in. And just go right above the crease. I'm going to go in the crease, like, try to get the minimalist amount in the crease possible. So, my husband and I are about to celebrate seven years of marriage. Oh my god, it is, like, terrifying. But we've known each other for ten years now. Which, that's terrifying terrifying in and of itself as well. Because I feel like I remember yesterday just meeting him. Honestly. Um, the next shade I'm going to go into is Glory. Which is a pinky magenta shade. And I'm going to go into the crease with that. But, yeah. We got married in 2012. We were engaged for a little less than 11 months. He proposed on our two-year anniversary. Yeah, two-year anniversary. I had to do my, I had to do a quick math real quick. <laughs> And I cried and didn't believe that he was asking me to marry him. Like, I refused to look at the ring. I honestly didn't believe he was going to ask me. I didn't know. It was such a surprise because um, not that he was afraid to marry me, but, like, literally from, like, the moment we started dating... Everybody kept asking me, asking when it was going to happen or they'd make jokes about it. And like, it literally got to the point where I had to tell people, stop saying that, stop talking about it. Like, you're going to scare them off. And like, we've had some ups and downs. But you know what? I'm so happy. That he chose me and that he loves me. Because honestly, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be doing this right now. Like, and I don't mean that just in the sense that, like, I never would have had the passion to do it. But just, uh, and literally he just helped me set up. Like, that's my husband. He helped me set up, make sure everything's going okay. He encourages me. You know, he... Tells me if ideas that I have are great or if 
you know, maybe I should think about doing something else because, you know, maybe that's not the best idea. And he wants me to, you know, he doesn't want me to be like everybody else. And not to say that that's a problem, but he wants me to find my voice and figure out what it is that I can share with all of you guys. And I love that about him. I'm going to take Clove. Just so that if y'all really want to follow along, you can. And I'm going to darken that outer corner just a little bit. Yeah, so. So it was seven years. We had our honeymoon in Vegas. And I ended up sick. I end up sick like almost every time we end up in Vegas, which is funny. Um, which we're actually gonna go back in September, two weeks after our anniversary. So maybe it could be like an anniversary trip. Um, to go to a NASCAR race, which I know that probably sounds hilarious, but NASCAR is there that weekend. And my husband is a NASCAR fan. And so it's been a kind of a dream of him to be able to, a dream of his to be able to do like the whole weekend. I'm just buffing that out with a little bit more of glory. You know, to do the whole weekend, to make a thing out of it. And we could do... <clears throat> like Phoenix because we live in Arizona but we're getting hooked up with the tickets so we thought hey we might as well it'll be fun I love Vegas and like not even for the night club and partying aspect of it I just think Vegas is so much fun because it's just a so many different types of people there I'm going to buff all those out again with some Morgan. You know, like, you can see anything in Vegas, basically. And I love that. And part of it, it was, like, I grew up in a relatively small town, you know. Um, and then I, I'm taking Aster, which is this purpley pinky perlue duo chromey shade and I'm gonna put that all over the lid um excuse me so like yeah we saw stuff but not as much and then like I moved to San Diego when I was in high school and again like you, you see some stuff but like I think Vegas you see it all and it's just a fun place because there's so much to do. Like you literally can't do it all in one day. So it's one of those things for me, like it's like Disneyland, but for adults, so to speak, without being Disneyland. <laughs> but we always have fun. Last time I went to Vegas was actually last year for the Morphe opening and trying to meet Jaclyn Hill. I did not get to. I'm very sad about that. But you live, you learn. Um, I got to meet her best friend Jackie. And I got to meet her mom. And all that fun stuff. And I won prizes. So it was a nice, fun mother-daughter trip. Because we took... It was me and my mom. And then we took my daughter as well. So you imagine two almost three-year-old on that trip but it was fun she loved it we loved it we had so much fun so now I'm gonna do my face how do we I think it looks cute um I'm gonna prime my face with the Tatcha Luminous Silk Primer because I'm given the the pure cosmetics um four in one love your selfie another go guys we're gonna try and hopefully it'll sit better on my skin because it really didn't really like that other ooh that's a lot ooh that's a lot ooh 
All oh, right, this may be bad. Oh, geez. Um, but yeah. Where's your favorite place to go? Like, even as unconventional as it may be. I have a bucket list of places I would like to go. But it's just not feasible right now. One of the things I would... One of the places I would... I'm just going to take a pump of this right now. One of the places that I would really like to go is Ireland. And I'd really like to go to Greece. Those are, the, like, my two... I would love to go to that are like super far away that I can't easily get to. Um, Canada is another place. I don't know exactly where yet, but like I'd love to visit Canada. Um, Hawaii is another place I would love to go. Like, I think. That would be so much fun. You guys, if I if you hear the trucks outside, I'm so sorry. They are building a house at the end of my block. Um, there's not really much I can do about it. So, very little of this goes a long way. <clears throat> so, it kind of reminds me... I'm not going to say 100%, but it kind of reminds me of the Hourglass Foundation in that way. Like, this does not look good with a brush. I will tell you that. I don't I think I officially do not like applying it with a brush. So I'm going to move over to my sponge because that was not making me happy. Um, but like still, the one pump that I have, I still have like half a pump on my hand. Just keep that in mind, so a little goes a long way. And with the sponge, it does seem to... It's definitely blending better with a sponge. So we're going to conceal. I like to basically almost completely wipe off the wand because there's still a lot in there so I like to wipe it off just so that I'm not getting t way too much product like I know this looks like a lot but it's a way less than had I just used what was on the dill foot when I first pulled it out I'm going to try a Jackie Ina technique and she likes to let her concealer sit and dry before she blends it in. So we're going to try that, see if we can get it because like she's saying like the, if you let it dry a little bit. You get the most pigment. And I think she does like a... I'm going to pat out my nose. And then let's pat in this easy way. So like this doesn't dry super fast, which is nice. But it also is pretty thick so you definitely want to pat it in before like it dries down too much and then so she starts from like the outside and blends that all in before she moves on to the inner like corner My daughter wants to know when dinner, like I can hear her, so like if you can't, but oh, I'm sorry, but right now my dinner, my daughter is trying to find out when we're going to have dinner. <laughs> it's 10.30, like, not right now, kid. So I'm going to set my face with 
the hourglass ambient whatever it's called the translucent setting powder the veil setting powder not ambient I'm, I'm gonna set my under eyes so I'm gonna cut out any whoopee pieces and then go in I do have lines under my eyes, so it does settle, but like I've had some crease so bad that it's like, oh my God, what the hell happened? But, so if you do see some lines, don't worry, it's not that big of a deal, but pat it out and pat it in. A little sticky still. What I like to do is take whatever's in like the cap and get it all over the brush, tap off, and then go in. That way you're just getting like the bare minimum of powder to take away the severe stickiness. Uh, just a little around my nose. And kind of bake there and my smile line. Smile lines. Not okay, not a hundred percent bake, but just get them in there. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Just brightening brightening up the under eye area, hopefully, with a little bit of the Halo and Enhance from the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. I watch a few different people and I unsubscribe, blah, 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 and I unsubscribe from people every now and again just because sometimes it gets a little overwhelming. I'm going to take Carrot and Princess Cut and mix them from the Park and the New Princess. I'm going to contour. Um... Because sometimes after a while, it's like, I liked them at first, and then I, for some reason, I just, I stopped liking them. So, who do you follow and love to follow? Let me know, because I need new people. I only get really excited about, like, three people out of, like, the 20 that I follow. And I'd like to get excited about more. Ooh, okay. That's too much. So much. Too, too much. I'm just taking a clean brush and trying to diffuse it. Same with this side. I feel like there's too much and I was trying to compensate. I don't do this all the time, but I just feel it's a little sloppy. So I'm going to take my sponge and my powder. I'm going to clean up. Okay, so I'll clean, let that clean up. I'm going to take my Luna by Luna highlight in Electra. Honestly, it's now that I'm using it again, I remember why it was my favorite for so long. It's one of those ones where you can actually tell that I've used it quite a few times. Because it used to be dome shaped and now there's like literally it's flat spot on top. <laughs> but it's just so perfect for my skin tone. At least that's what I think. And it just melts into the skin like butter. So I'm on a fitness and eating healthier journey let's put it that way because it's not like so much that like i want to i don't want to I'm, I'm not on a diet or not playing that but how do you do any of you have any tips for like staying motivated because that is the one thing that i will say that i struggle with the most is staying motivated to just continue eating the right portions continue to eat the right foods so I was wondering if anybody has any tips and tricks for that. So if you do, can you like let me know what they are? 
because I fell off I fell off the wagon and I'd like to get back on and I'd like, you know, to start feeling better about myself again. So I'm taking the e.l.f. Cosmetics Mellow Mauve Blush. I love it because it has a slight sheen to it, but like, oh, it's one of my favorite blushes. I don't know. And there's a slight sheen, but and so like it gives just like a healthy glow. So I love it. Okay. Now that we're done with that, let's finish the eyes. I'm going to take Glory and I'm going to take a flat definer brush and I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line in the outer, eh, the outer third. I don't want to take it too far in. And then I'm also going to take just a little bit of clove, like the teensy speck, and do it right, right at the outer corner to connect. Make the edges. Tap, tap this out a little bit like Allie does. Make it a little softer and try to at least. And then I'm going to take Morgan, which is that PG shade that we use as our transition shade, and I'm going to connect that all together. I think I'm just going to take my highlighter and I'm going to highlight my inner corner with it. Do that instead. So, I'm actually going to attempt lashes today. Woo, go me! But first, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So, I've been obsessed, sort of, with how my eyebrows have been looking when I do them with the Anastasia Brow Waves and the Gel Pomade. So, that's what we're going to do. No, never yet. Okay. Oh well. I'll have to see later. So let's see if I can like scrape off. Hopefully not get any big chunks. So like I really like this, but I seem to get like huge chunks everywhere. Like right there. God darn it. <sighs> Fail. I'm so frustrated about that, guys. Like, I do it every single time with this. And I don't know, like, if this is the same brush as, like, the big one, but it's kind of, it's kind of frustrating. Because I really like it. I like the color that it adds to my lashes and all that stuff, but, or my eyebrows, sorry, not lashes. That is frustrating to me. I'm going to curl my lashes real quick. I'm gonna dust off. Do 
some mascara and then I'll put lashes on. I'm gonna put lashes on and I'll be right back. Guys, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. All right, so let's put some mascara on. I'm gonna set my face before I do lipstick. Back to my tried and true all nighter. I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty matte lipstick in Staycation. This is like my go-to nude combo lately. And then Maybelline's Baddest Beige on top. I don't know what it is about this combo, but I love it. And there you have it, guys. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me as before I go about my day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload. And I will see you in my next one.